Hi everybody, um, <clears throat> I'm just sitting on the sofa and I'm going to give a little bit of an update to do with my mother and um, the Alzheimer's disease. Uh, she contacted it, um, well, she started um, suffering with it um, about seven years ago when she was 79 and um, the, the doctors thought she had a, a stroke, in fact she crashed the car and she couldn't really remember anything out about it and she collapsed when she got out of the car. So uh, she came to live with us. Um, I actually suggested that she came for a holiday because I didn't want her to sort of feel as if she was totally losing her independence. So that was quite a subtle way of really helping her to um, perhaps have a bit of a break. And, um, and also, we didn't really know what was going to happen in the future with her. So we thought the best thing to do was to just really go day by day with it all. So she came uh, and she stayed with us. Um, it was a great time because she bonded with her grandson and her granddaughter and her, grandson, her other grandsons and everything. And um, uh, she managed to put on some weight because she was eating again properly because she had been really... Uh, in a way, letting herself go um, because she was forgetting about whether she'd eaten or not and forgetting to get food for the fridge and that type of thing. So uh, it, was a, it was a lovely time for all of us because it actually was a time when, you know, being a very sad time but also being a very happy time because we had our happy moments with it, um, especially when, you know, if she was having a good day and she was... Uh, it was it was lovely for her because she actually reminisced about the past and um, she look, could look to the future in a way that wasn't quite so scary for her because she knew that she had family and friends around her who were there to support her and give her a lot of um, love and comfort um, with everything that was going on. So anyway, uh, I've put together this video. She's, sadly, she's in the final stages now. And um, she is in bed all the time now. We had to put her into a nursing home because it got to the stage when we couldn't really cope with um, her because she, was, um, she couldn't, she can't move. She's on a ripple mattress being turned too early now and um, has to be fed. Uh, so it's very sad, but at, um, at least she's comfortable and um, she's well looked after. And that's the main thing, that the comfort and love and nice surroundings and everything to finish her days. So anyway, um, it, it's uh, put together this video with um, more information about it. And um, if you'd like, subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything you need to know, don't hesitate to email. Okay? Thanks. Right, bye. That was lovely. Where did you go, Mitz? Mitzy. Mitz? Where did you go? Nice for you to have a little bit of independence, isn't it? There, and you know Barclay's there. That's it. Always near. There. All right.